Northern star, Northern monk, and he does look like a monk. Please shot us a can of some good stuff. No, best day of my life. If anyone from Northern Monk's watching, what more can we do? Northern Monk, get at me. I'm just giving my honest opinion, and my honest opinion is Northern Monk are my favourite brewery. Done. The service, because I got that, some delivered actually, and the service was amazing. If you get them, if you just go on the uh, Northern Monk website and order some. A Striding Edge. Striding Edge, which is there. Dutty. It had to be done. You go to Northern Monk, tell them Aisy sent you. <laughs> Northern Monk's like, take that, and I'm a girl in the early 90s. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, we did it. We did it, boys and girls. <laughs> Took us three years. Three years and a lot of pestering. Genuine happiness. La hallelujah. I've done it. Like if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen this story unfold, but if you're just a, a YouTube watcher, then this will be news to you. And it also, it's news to everyone. And to me, because I've not even tasted it yet. This is the official the official review of um, of my first instalment patrons project. Right, let's get the proper attire on, shall we? It's not a real review if I don't have flat cap on. Right, let's have a quick look. <laughs> it's like a dream, like a dream come true. Uh, there I am, next to my lantern, blowing a, a tinder bundle into flames. Bushcrafty AF. There you are. There you are. I've done it. Believe in yourselves. You can achieve anything. I know people might not think this is a big achievement, but to me, this is one of the highlights of my uh, my life so far. See here. This is a little um, instructions on how to make a can into a little tea lantern, a uh, tea light lantern. If you're just here for like bushcraft and camping and that, this isn't for you. But if you've been with me on the journey to Northern Monk, this is for you. Genuinely, to everybody who's um, tagged me in Northern Monk or commented on them and emailed them, messaged them, whatever. So, yeah, basically, I had a pretty much a free run of what I wanted to do. And um, Alice actually suggested hazelnut as a, as a flavour, and I ran with it because I've only got one nut because of the big C took it away. So, it's sort of like a tribute to my last nut. And it, they've, they've named it Haze. All nut porter, thank you. Uh, they got to me and they're like, Right, it's 5.4%. Um, I said, No, nah, wait a minute, we've got to go heavier for the first beer. So it's now they umped it up to 6.7 because I wanted it to be a little bit of a nappier, nappy wearer. Yeah, it's hazelnut, cacao, vanilla, milk, sugar. Oh, my wordy word. I got invited over to Northern Monkey, they reached out to me and um. After constantly pecking their head, they reached out and I went for an interview, a lot, well, I went for a meeting uh, with the owner of Northern Monk. Uh, we sat down, the first thing he asked is, can I get a cock and balls on it? He said, that's probably not cool. I said, fair enough. But I don't know, we've got another six cans to go. Maybe I'll be able to get a little hidden one in there somewhere, hopefully. That's the next goal. Um, yeah, and then uh, we went out camping. Um, I took. The owner of Northern Monk, Russell, he's a super cool dude and uh, one of the head brewers there and a, a camera guy and we went out for a bit of a wild camp to show them what it's all about. The sun drifts off into the distance. We're with the Northern Monk crew. Yeah, look at that. Ridiculous. <laughs> this is why you've always got to bring the camera. Oh, just one that you can carry with you without having <laughs> to break your back. <laughs> the haze experience, which was basically the haze experience, is just getting blind drunk, kipping under a rock, 
and then going and uh, dunking yourself in some water the next day, which we did. <laughs> it was ace. Um, and yeah, and this brings us here. Ah, oh, no, then I had a day out. Um, I had a brewing day and I went and I helped. I helped actually make this beer. I went to Northern Monk. <laughs> you know it. What's your name again, mate? Sorry. Tom. I'm shit at this. I know. Right, I'm here with Tom at uh, Happy Shop of Cat Food. We're just starting out. So, how many litres is this again? Okay. Uh, it's going to be, what, post war again? In here, yeah. Uh, what, for about 4,400 litres. 4,400 litres. And that's all going to you lot. <laughs> Log on to the website, link below. Look at this, we're going in, this is the brew, this is the first Hayes Outdoors brew. Look at that. Just looks like hamster food, doesn't it, at the moment? Can I touch it? No, don't touch it, it's unhygienic. <laughs> <laughs> and hot, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> really hot. 70 degrees. 70 degrees, don't touch it. Look at that, it smells lovely. Yeah, yeah, man. Just slowed that down a bit, because it's. you can see it started to pool out a bit. Right. Uh, we want to just kind of go straight down the sides of the walls. Yeah. Right, so we're transferring it from here. The match is going into this thing in here so this will be the liquid without the grains without the just the wort just the wort straight get boiled up I need to get just boiling up the wort in northern monk that's all oh splashback I got a bit of splashback <laughs> that's not bit of a money shot look at that you can't really see him there a bit it's steamy, steamy but, yeah a bit steamy but that looks cool There we are, look, hazelnut porter is there. 4,000 litres of it. And we want to be up there at 6,000. Get head on it. There she is, look. Do you want video, mate, look? You can be on it. What's on here? Andrew. On on the channel, my mate Andrew now. Shout out Andrew. Tell me you're working for a bit, show it to Russ. This is my brother. Hey? This is my brother. How oh, is he? Oh, he'll let you off then. <laughs> How many brothers have you got? Is there three of you? Yeah, yeah. One in the science bit. No, it's four of us. Ah, oh, right. The one down south. Ah, oh, family affair, right mate. How yeah, sound. I learned about 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 making beer and um, saw some of the staff there and, and I, I so this is truly is a collaboration beer it truly is because I you know I've helped make it I've named it I've you know oh, I, I even shout out Stu but me and my mate Stu went out and got these photos as well Stu Potter shout out you it's a real coming together and this is the this is it, this is the... Oh mate, it even says, look. You can't read it because of focus issues, but... Includes beer can survival tip inside. <laughs> I made a beer can, right, this is how geeky I am. I even made a beer can survival video. Um, just so I could show another monk uh, some ideas of what you can do with beer cans and that. That's life. So now I'm officially a... a a patron for Northern Monk. I'm one of the patrons. <laughs> I'm like, look, 
See that list of heavy hitters there? Who's that at the bottom? <laughs> oh, it's just me, innit? It's just me, that's all. Right, here we go. I tried to, I gave Joey D a, uh, a text to see if I could get him out, but he can't, he can't do things on the sp spontaneously these days with him being a dad, so he couldn't come out to enjoy it. So cheers to you as well, D. Right, here's D's comp, hear that. Joey D's cook, sir. Oh, this is the ultimate, in it? Right, I can't believe it. This is it. I feel emotional, I honestly feel like I could cry. Whoa. <sighs> oh, mate. I'm actually welling up because it's um, it's been so long and been such. It's not. I don't know. It's jokes in it. Just like badgering a beer company to, to let you get on the side of their beer. But it's just. It means a bit more than that now. It's just about you know achieving your goals and then everyone's been so supportive about me getting it and oh mate like no the monk have never had the response that they've had from you lot on their. Instagram page when you liked the beer of mine and when you commented when they asked should we do a patrons project with Fares Outdoors they, they told me they were swamped with messages and that's to you that's from you and I feel the love I feel it we did it together mate I'm emotional I'm totally emotional I didn't think I'd get emo over a beer guy come on right right diseased bollock Oh, that's it. Oh, oh, oh. oh, creamy, creamy disease. But I can't say that, mate. Can't say that. Oh, mate. Oh, that's like. Oh, it tastes like pudding. Sweet. Uh, nutty. Oh my word! Look at it, brown as you like. Look at that. Come on, focus face. Huh. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fro frothing overlook. It's been a long time coming. In fact, I'm downing this in a wanna. <sighs> to everyone who's helped me and supported me on getting on this can, on this silly little journey, this one's for you. <laughs> Come on! That is delicious. Of course it's delicious, it's my first, like, we've done it. Oh, that tastes like, I know they said it's like Nutella, like light Nutella. Oh, let's go again. I mean, it's only early in the day, but what are you going to do, mate? I'm sleeping in woods, aren't I? I mean, I'm sleeping in that tunnel, so. I'll have to get a little bit of a hair of the dog on. <laughs> oh, it's so nutty. Or else it might be the walnut oil in the cooker. So let's just go. Let's bear back. Let's go bear back. Oh my god. And get rid of that fire smoke as well. Yeah mate, yeah mate. Sat drinking out of a cookser that my mate made me next to a fire, drinking a beer, my own beer that came out of, I've, I've done it. I'm drinking my own beer that came out of Northern Monk. This is the pinnacle for me. I'm, <laughs> and then, I mean, less less of a pinnacle is going to sleep in that tunnel. Because it's, well, you'll see anyway, you'll see on next, you'll see on next video how scary it looks in there, but we'll forget about that. For, for now it's this. Mm. Oh, like this is in memory of my one nut and let's just 
let's have a qu let's just quickly run over that. Not to run over it, but so I wait. I was 23, man, and a lot. Um, it wasn't really a lump. It just half my tether just went hard, and and um, just like not normal. So I went and got it checked out. Blah de blah. A few scans. They said you've got a tumor. And you know, as a 23 year old stud muffin, it's not what you want to hear. So, a few days later, they w they go in through your, through your stomach down there and they, they take it out with all the, the gubbins on it as well. Um, and it had spread to my lymph nodes in my stomach. And so, I had to get peppered with quite a lot of chemotherapy that, because um, I was young, they could, they could just smash me with it. So, yeah, I lost all my hair and that, I looked, uh, <laughs> that's one of the things, like I'm just being open just in case anyone else is going through it or whatever. Um, that's one of the things, one of the moments where you're like, oh no mate, because you look in the mirror and all air's gone. And you just look like a big butter bean or whatever. Um, and that's one of the hardest times. Um, anyway, yeah, it went to my stomach and then all the chemo got rid of it. I was, I went, I, I was in remission for a while and then... All clear now. I just have to have like yearly checks and get my bloods done and stuff. But um, yeah, it was tough at the time. But we're out the other end. So if there's anyone out there who is is going through it or anything, then don't worry. Get in, uh, slide slide into me DMs or email me or something. If you've got any questions about it, like all the important questions that lads want to know that the, the doctors might not want to tell you like can I you know can I knock one out after I've had my nut whipped off you know do I get weird feelings because I like, had like weird phantom pains in where my nut used to be in that and when I when I used to bust I used to think it was like leaking into my inside and to my like I don't know it was weird feelings then you look at your own mortality and you know you ask yourself a few questions and it did change me as a person and made me it's, it's very cliche, but I do appreciate life a lot more. Um, yeah, that's a bit of a cliche, man, but it's, it's, it's a cliche for a reason. It's because it's true. And and I, you know, they said they said there's a good chance I wouldn't have kids. They said I, I might not be able to have kids, so I had to knock one out in a doctor's waiting room. Um, <laughs> they put a palm mag in like a brown envelope and that back in there, so. You had to just knock one out to that um, and freeze some little lads, freeze some at Tezza mess. And you know, they said there was a good chance I wouldn't have a kid. Add one. So, Wevs. I did it. They said I couldn't, well, they didn't say. A couple of people said I couldn't do an Ironman triathlon. Um, because I wouldn't have the time to train, or <clears throat> it's too hard. So I did it. <clears throat> you know, I like to challenge myself, like walk, doing the coast to coast, the Iron Man, everything like that. Um, and the same with this. And people are saying, give up, you can't, like, there's no pot, like, what are you doing? Why do you keep badgering Nova Monk? Here we are, look, this is why. If you don't do it, if you don't, act, if you don't go, you don't know. So yeah, basically what I'm saying, it's kind of trying to be motivational. And that anything you put your mind to fully, I know some people believe that if you ask the universe for it, you'll, you'll often hear me talk about Noel Edmonds asking Noel Edmonds for stuff. And that's only because he believes in this thing where you, if you ask the universe, it'll give it to you. And I just think that's, I don't believe that myself. So I just ask Noel Edmonds as a joke, but I believe in visual you know you can visualize something but you have to make it happen yourself you can't just let the wait for the universe to make it happen you have to put things in place to get there but you know visualize it i'm a big fa uh, believer in sort of visualizing your goals and making them reality but you do have to get off your ass and do something about it you can't just wait for big null to sort you out so yeah anyway that is delicious should we give it a score oh Wait a minute. That's delightful. So we've got to give it a score. <laughs> I think we all know what's happening here, don't we? 
never given a beer a 10 before, a 10 out of 10. And I guess there is no, this has to be it, mate. This has to be a 10 out of 10 beer. It's delicious. It's my own and it's three years of pestering all come to a head. So let's chuck some graphics up on this one. Bosh. Put it here. 10 out of 10, mate. All day. Yeah, the only thing that I've not, not... The only thing that I haven't achieved in my life, really, that I've put my mind to, is... Um, oh, sticky, mate. You can tell... Like, sticky, that's how sweet it is. Is... Um, yeah, getting MCQ to tell me to F off. That was one of my dreams as well. When I was a, uh, you know, this is a few years ago as well. I'm also gonna have a campaign to get MCQ Bushcraft to tell me to fuck off. <laughs> gonna troll him and He's only gotta meet you once and then. <laughs> I'm gonna troll him just to say in one of his videos, fuck off or fuck you or something like that. I just want to hear him swear, it'll be so poignant, won't it? Because he doesn't swear, it'll be like hearing your gran swear at you. <laughs> won't it? <laughs> anyway, MCQ Bushcraft. I know you love watching my videos, mate. So I'm coming for you to try and make you swear in 2017. <laughs> Shout out Ray Mays as well. I know Ray, you watch my videos. Um, take it easy, mate. Have a good Christmas. Bear Grills, take it easy. Have a good Christmas. No Ledmans, I've got you, boy. I'll see you over Christmas. And to everyone who's watching, Merry Christmas. Hey, MCQ, how's it going? It's me, Hazy. Hazo, Hayes, Hayes Outdoors, huh? I was just wondering if you wanted to come camping with me. Whoa. All right, whoa, hello, hello. <sighs> Potty mouth. And I made it a little bit of a campaign to get MCQ because MCQ Bushcraft is the goat for me in this sort of stuff. He's just really knowledgeable, but he doesn't play the game, you know, like, he just, he's honest with himself and with everyone and you can, you can see the integrity in him. And I just, you know, I'd just like to ruin that by getting him to tell me to F off. Yay. Oh, it's so funny because also like, because he doesn't swear, you would, he just, he's that sort of dude that's just, you just couldn't imagine it, could you? And like I said it before, it's like, it would be like hearing your gran swear at you. Awesome, mate. Yeah, but we'll let him off, we'll let him off. He, um, he's out living in Sweden now, so, we'll, we'll, we'll I've achieved, well let's just say I've achieved 95% of everything that I've put my mind to recently and um, MCQ was the one that got away. From the, from the very bottom of my core, I'm grateful to all of you that supported me in getting this beer together. It's just, and it, when it all came to a head and then everyone was like saying well done on Instagram and that, I just got emotional. It's just, <laughs> I'm a bit, I am a big lettuce, I know I am. But it just felt like oh, all the hard work and that paid off and you lot were just mint. And the owner of Northern Monk even told me, he, he said, we've never had like a response to it. It's been the most requested patrons project they've had. And that's you lot. Absolute legends. Heroes in the game. Every single one of you. Every single one of you. Amazing. <laughs> uh, right, if you're not subscribed already, I don't normally ask you to do this, but if you're not subscribed already, um, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can watch me cack me selling this tunnel. But we'll leave this one here and uh, just much love from me to you. <sighs> Take care, <laughs> we did it. I'll see you later. Hey Hayes, Mike here from MCQ with a warm message from the sub-zero temperatures of South Lapland. It's been a tough winter but uh, yeah, everything's going well now and the sun's breaking through, we've got spring. Look at that, the old birch trees in the garden, all the snow's melting. Mons, there's that big old dog. Monsy boy, come heat. There he is, look at that. Old bungle running around the garden. But that's not why I've done this message. This video is for something way more important. 
this video is to reach out to you to say I regretted never meeting up with you when we were in the UK we had a lot of agree uh, arrangements you know where uh, we were gonna go wild camping together and go shooting and all that kind of stuff and do some camp outs and drink some beers and stuff and laugh and frolic by the campfire and we never got to do that partly because it was always me being too busy we were getting ready to leave the UK I didn't think we'd never come back but it seemed to just go that way and now we're living here and uh yeah and this is home now but just know there's always a place for you here mate um you know we've got quite a lot of space there's a, there's a bed you get a bed if you came here you get towels as well with minimal skiddage it's pr practically paradise so if you ever want to come to Sweden and you want somewhere to stay excuse me I had a fry up this morning Sunday fry up then you've you've got a place here you've got a place here and uh yeah you're always welcome even you and Joey salad fingers as well if he wants to come here but this message is kind of important because I know you've been a massive supporter of drinking northern spunk I mean northern monk for years now and um you know it's it's an ale that you're, uh, well, a beverage. I mean, I'm not a beer drinker. I'm a stout drinker, so I don't know much about Northern Northern Monk. But I see you drink it in your videos all the time, and you know, it's a, it's a this means a lot to you. And, and you know, congratulations for having your own beer with them. I think it's about time they recognised you as a supporter, and I think you're a great advocate for it. So, um, yeah, congratulations, mate. But more importantly, from the bottom of my heart. Fuck off, Hayes. I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care of yourself. I'm like Jordan, trying to rise on to the dunk. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warding, I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars are gone by by the month. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warding, I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars are gone by by the month.